Good morning, folks. We've got some space weather, some eye candy. We'll touch on cosmology and end with solar forcing and catastrophism science. But we are starting with our star, and we find a relative quiet on the Earth-facing portion of the sun. Several coronal holes, however. We've had no solar flaring of note, but there was one eruption that catches our eye off the northwestern departing limb. Plasma filament lifts and erupts away from our planet's direction. Solar wind remains elevated as we are inside the coronal hole stream, a mild one, which is why the geomagnetic conditions reflect only the minor perturbation from the plasma stream. We will await further intensification from these coronal holes, should be the space weather story this week. We'll also be eyeing that plasma filament in the middle for eruptive behavior. Let's get a quick look at a goofy looking galaxy. It is a double core merger scenario and one of the weirdest I've seen from Hubble. It is indeed one of the our peculiar galaxies on the list. Up next, an excellent observation and a somewhat bad conclusion. They're seeing the intracluster light between galaxies, finally, but are sadly thinking it represents orphan stars just randomly distributed between. Incorrect. This would be the faint glow of dusty plasma, photo ionized shining as the interacting halos of the galaxies in the cluster, for now. Their conclusions aren't as important as are entering the era of being able to see and study that region, one long claimed by plasma cosmologists as the home to dusty plasma that was simply too faint to be seen, no longer. Top stories today begin with one looking back over the last 24,000 years and finding the top events, the Younger Dryas and what they label as Heinrich Event 1, not to mention the monsoon variability, driven by the sun, something we've heard several times. And we'll double up on these forcings by looking at the millennial scale rapid climate shifts, also known as dansgaard oschger events. And these millennial scale rapid climate shifts, which dwarf modern climate change and do so in a fraction of the time, are also the result of dominant solar forcing. Hard to ask for a better cycle forcing conclusion than that one. Last little note, in addition to the space weather news gear in our store, we now have a suspicious observer's sweatshirt as well. It is quite comfy. We greatly appreciate your support here on Small Business Saturday. Our books, playlists, and more describe these cycles and the power of that aforementioned solar forcing over various scales. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.